This 38-year-old woman, dressed sexy came to a college full of young men. Her sexy and voluptuous body immediately attracts the attention of many people. She arrived at the bottom of the building to wait for her 19-year-old boyfriend to leave class. Balthazar saw his girlfriend in this outfit from a distance. His eyes widened and he stood in place, not knowing what to do. Alice invited him to join the art show. He stammered excitedly and said, I can go sometime. Balthazar smiles happily after saying goodbye to Alice. Alice is the editor of a fashion magazine. She was on a business trip to a foreign printing house to supervise the production, but she was harassed by a man on the flight back. Annoyed, she dragged the young man who had just walked in and sat down. The man's name was Balthazar, a student of architecture. It was his first time flying first class, so he was particularly excited. He's having fun playing with the seat that lies flat. The plane arrives on the ground. The two men briefly exchanged names. Suddenly Balthazar noticed a flash drive on the ground. He picked it up and tried to call out to Alice. But she had already stepped off the plane. Alice got in her car and left. Balthazar couldn't catch up with her. Alice returns to work and hears that Lise is trying to replace her. She went to her boss to discuss it. But he told her. Lise was more uninhibited and wouldn't be restrained. Lise has been married eight times and has had five male and three female husbands. And now she's back to being single again. You've been divorced for eight years and now you're indifferent to everything but work. You've lost your zest for life. So you can't edit the content that your users like. Alice is already upset enough at this point. But then she couldn't find the flash drive. She saw a note left by her assistant and realized that Balthazar had found her flash drive. She rushed to call and ask for it. Balthazar was at a disco. He heard Alice's voice on the phone and got nervous for no reason. Alice arrived shortly afterwards. Balthazar greeted her with a wave from afar. When Alice learned that he didn't have the flash drive with him at the moment, she asked him to get the flash drive as soon as possible. Balthazar had to take her home. They arrived at Balthazar's pink scooter. He kindly helped her to put on her helmet. Alice's co-worker happened to see the scene. The two gossips took a picture of the sweet scene. After a search by the men, Alice got the flash drive without any problem. When she left, Balthazar came out after her. He stammered nervously and asked her to meet him for coffee. Alice saw what he was thinking. She said, you're too young and we're not right for each other. So she turned him down. The next day Alice came to the office and saw the strange looks from her colleagues. Finally she found out from her assistant. It turned out that the photos from last night had been seen by everyone. But this is a very pleasant thing for her boss. He thought it was cool that Alice was in love with someone 20 years younger than her. Alice, encouraged by her friends, decides to hook up with Balthazar in order to keep her job. So she changes from her usual conservative outfit. She comes to school dressed sexy and asks Balthazar to go to a show with her tonight. The woman gets up in the middle of the night and opens the door. The man speaks outside the door. He took the woman in his arms and entered the house. The woman doesn't say no. After years of being single, she took the man straight into the bedroom. The noise they made stunned the neighbors downstairs who were walking his dogs. Alice offers to ask Balthazar to an art show to keep her job. Balthazar was speechless by Alice's beauty in an elegant black dress. He couldn't help but praise her for her beauty. After all, what young boy doesn't love a mature and attractive woman? Alice unobtrusively helped him with his clothes. This looks like a normal couple's behavior to the onlookers. But she knew she was acting. She watched Balthazar having so much fun. Alice was embarrassed. Alice complimented the organizer on his artistic skills with the hypocrisy of an adult. Balthazar, who had returned with the wine, said that there was no point in the organizers doing anything fancy. Alice laughed to cover up the awkwardness. After the show, Balthazar gently followed her with his umbrella. When Alice answered the phone, he kept his distance from her thoughtfully. Alice lied that her daughter was in the hospital. So Balthazar immediately ran to stop a car and let Alice go. Balthazar had to give the umbrella to the passenger he had just pulled out of the car. This day Alice took Balthazar to the company's runway show. She took the occasion very seriously because the president of the group was also there to visit. But during the show, there was an accident. One of the models accidentally fell down. Balthazar ran straight to the runway and helped her up. The president who was used to seeing all kinds of traditional runway shows, thought it was a special episode arranged by Alice on purpose. Alice wanted to continue the show in front of the boss. She took Balthazar to the company's reception. She saw Lise keep asking people questions. She was afraid that her plan would fail if she was exposed. Alice quickly pulls Balthazar onto the dance floor. An intimate dance heats up the atmosphere. Deeply in love, Balthazar takes Alice home on his pink motorcycle. He wanted to go upstairs and sit down. Alice sees what he's thinking and rejects him. But how could he give up when he was in love? 
He gets up the courage to knock on Alice's door. Alice opened the door carefully. Balthazar was standing outside the door. When he learned that Alice was home alone, he hugged her straight away. They were clearly content after their night together. It's amazing how a 40-year-old woman can fall in love with a boy. He always has a way of surprising you on a date. Balthazar posted a message on the tree. He told Alice to follow the arrow to the seat and pick up the MP3 stuck under the seat bench. He then rode up to her on his little pink motorcycle. She drove Alice aimlessly through the city. This is the romance of a poor boy. Alice had seen a lot of fancy restaurants and roses in the past. But this time she enjoyed the innocence and simplicity. Alice was able to keep her job, as she had hoped. She was also considering whether she should continue with this false relationship. On this day Balthazar had prepared a date. He excitedly expressed his hopes for the future. Alice, however, spoke her mind directly. She said, when I'm getting old, you are still young. Don't think we're going to be happy. I have an eight-year-old daughter, so I only have weekends to enjoy the time we have together. I don't want you to lose your young life because of this. Balthazar was surprised to hear this, but he didn't know how to keep the sensible lady. They broke up. Balthazar returned home devastated and depressed. He didn't go out all day and kept himself at home. However, the breakup was changed by Alice's boss. She was very upset when she inspected the work. Finally she is attracted to the young male model who walked the runway last time. Alice's boss doesn't know that she and Balthazar have broken up, so he threatens Alice with her job and asks her to hire him. Alice came to Balthazar herself. He thought Alice was trying to get back together with him. But when he found out Alice's ultimate goal, he turned away in anger and said, I know. The next day at the shoot, Alice couldn't wait for Balthazar. He didn't answer his phone. Just when she thought Balthazar wouldn't be there, she went to report to her boss. But then the assistant came and said that Balthazar was already doing the registration. Alice's friend came and found Balthazar in the middle of makeup. He told Balthazar that Alice was only using him to get her promotion, knowing the truth. Balthazar didn't show it. He came to the shoot as usual. But he was so angry at the photographer's disrespectful attitude during the shoot that he left. He even went straight into the water. Alice came after him and apologized. At this point, Balthazar accused Alice of being selfish in front of everyone. She cheated him for his career. In the face of this situation Alice has nothing to say. The boss also fired her because of the scam. One day she suddenly found Balthazar's lost shoes. She always stared at the shoes for a long time in silence. It was only when her daughter called her from behind that she reacted. She realized that she had fallen deeply in love with Balthazar. So she decided to put aside her senses and pursue her love. Alice was guided to Balthazar's classroom by her classmates. Alice expresses her love for Balthazar in front of everyone. When Balthazar questioned their future, Alice kissed him on her own accord. Isn't that what love is all about? If you are in love, don't be confused by the world. Just be bold and feel it all. Be brave and pursue without regrets. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.